82 farm all 51 here all right this here is the 2023 north carolina state fair veterans i think it's veterans or military day uh, parade and they do this every year and they honor the veterans in the military uh, all branches um, and i believe these here are rotc cadets i'm not sure i didn't catch the banner in the front to see where they were from uh, well disciplined uh, look great um, coming up here next is in this jeep is the north carolina ag commissioner mr steve troxler um, he's been this ag commissioner for many many years uh, probably one of the best ag commissioners we've had alongside uh, jim graham which the building to your far right well way back there um, jim graham building named after him and coming up here is um, forestry equipment um, humvee here this truck here looks like it would be a brush truck from uh, burke county north carolina very important to have uh, equipment like that to be able to reach out and put out uh, forest fires and uh, brush fires like that far off the road where your normal fire truck can't you know cannot access there's our uh, North Carolina got the VNC uh, mascot there's a the little cardinal I forgot his name now but um, here's some bikers uh, I can't think of what group they're in but um, showing their military appreciation when with their flags and and all and like I said I do apologize for the no audio but all these little concessions and things like that have some sort of music playing and YouTube does not like that um, they will demonetize you or put a copyright strike on you so you have to be careful with that but uh, these guys here look real bikes look really excellent it, You can tell some of them are uh, Vietnam veterans as well. Actually, it is a Military Appreciation Day at the North Carolina State Fair there Wednesday. And a marching band coming up. And like I said, I hate you can't hear it. They, they were excellent. They sounded excellent. It's always nice to see a, a good, well-coordinated marching band. And coming up in the Wake County Sheriff um, little side-by-side -side here, I guess you call it, is the uh, is our newly elected, um, recently, uh, Wake County Sheriff, Mr. Willie Rowe. He is the uh, high sheriff of Wake County. And uh, so far, he's doing a pretty good job. But uh, Wake County is the capital county of North Carolina, which Raleigh here is the capital. Um, here's the military. Um, National Guard, I believe. All right, here comes a tank here, and I believe this is an M2 or M3 uh, Bradley um, from the National Guard. Uh, pretty cool to see it roll, rolling around, and uh, might see if I can pull the audio, let the audio on it, if it'll. Uh, I don't think there's too much music right through here, but anyway. Four Humvees and military personnel. This thing here looks pretty heavily armored. Uh, has to have a guy up here helping him uh, back up and move around because I can imagine how hard it would be to see out of that thing. Hopefully they've got some cameras in there. Some more ROTC cadets uh, looks like. Like I say, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know. You know, there's the, the what's his eye? What's his name? Crime biting dog there. <laughs> uh, some more. Uh, this is a City Raleigh uh, High Water Rescue Vehicle. And uh, 
So we uh, do have some areas that flood quite a bit. And the um, gentleman on the red shirt here is on a 2020 John Deere and a uh, Cub Cadet. Uh, finally, we get to the tractors here. Uh, the next, next uh, here's Mr. Chuck on a uh, International 574. And uh, if you come by the tent, which today's actually, I'm doing this video on the last day, a little behind on my videos, but um, if you were able to get through the tent, um, our IH tent, that tractor was in there. I believe this is a 430 John Deere. And um, first two, or the two international tractors from the chapter 37, and these the rest here are from Eastern Vintage uh, Farm and Equipment Club in Pikeville, out of Pikeville. Old Ford Workmaster. Power Master, I guess you'd say. Another Ford uh, 2000, I think, or 3000. Another John Deere. Western Weight Fire and Rescue. This is a pretty cool, uh, they've got actually got a submarine here, a uh, replica submarine. I can't think of what scale this would be built here. They call it the Silent Service. Pride runs the And coming up here, these reenactors. Um, most of these are from the um, site managers and staff of the North Carolina Historic um, Battlefields and Parks and uh, Historic Sites. A lot of these guys, or some of these guys I know, um, they've got every, most every uh, interpretation of military personnel from from the beginning on to the to the end here. So you got some Civil War soldiers there, some sailors, and the U.S. Colored Troops, um, which I've seen them at. I've seen them at Fort Fisher, and they they're pretty impressive to see. They're very authentic, and it's uh, nice to see them representing those units that uh, often don't get get heard of. Uh, getting down to some Vietnam era, Korean War II. Let's see, and it looks like Afghanistan or. Iraq. Uh, he looks more like an Iraq war. See old Dodge Power Wagon coming up. Now this is Athens Drive's marching brand, um, band. And uh, like I said, I, had, I couldn't see the first one there, catch their banner. Uh, I don't think they had a banner, but they were... I wish you could hear them though, because it was sounded great but um I hope you enjoyed uh, this video I'm sorry that there couldn't be any audio but like I say unfortunately most of the, most of these festivals fairs events there's always some type of music so but anyway hope you enjoy watching uh what little video here's and uh we'll uh, catch you later